Yo, I'm Lauren Hibbard. I'm a slacker pop artist from the Isle of Wight. I'm stoked to be playing on the Minger stage today. I'm going to also answer some questions at the end, but I'm going to play some tracks for you. And the first track I'm going to play is my brand new single called Old Nudes. Nudes. Now I can't sleep. 
sleep at night.
This next track um, is a track I've written in lockdown actually, um, so it's brand new, so mega exclusive. Um, it's called Slimming Down, it's about losing weight. You took me down, your eyes were brown, but all I saw was black. I fell onto your trampoline and I never quite bounced back. I guess you never really win, at least I'm finally slimming down. and finally slim down some of your questions now. The first question is what inspired you to write old moods? I think the biggest inspiration for me was the wanting to write about a taboo subject that really sort of cracks my songwriting gears um, and I wanted to kind of put a spin on it, a positive spin on it if that's even possible. I think I've managed to do it you know um, and kind of just you know really tell the story of, of how something like that comes about and, and you know the feelings on both sides and how you can sort of how you can still win in that situation. I think it's it's a very sort of pro pro female, pro nude sender. <laughs> so whatever you want to do. Um, what instruments do you play is the next question. Um, so I play three instruments. I play mainly guitar, that's my primary instrument. Um, but I also play bass and I kind of play piano, like kind of, but if you were to like push me into something I'd probably just play like clocks by Coldplay really terribly, so I'm going to count it, but you don't have to, but I'm going to say I play three instruments. Okay, question three. What is your songwriting process? So for me, my songwriting process normally starts with a list of notes I have on my phone, and that sort of song titles, lyric ideas, chord progressions, so you know throughout the day, throughout like my whole life I just jot things down on the go, wherever I see them, hear things, things like that. Um, and then when I have a bit of time, like now in lockdown, I go back and look at look at everything I've written down and you know try and decipher what's good and what's not. Um, and normally I do start with the instrumentation, so I start with a couple of chords and then I look back at what I've written down in the past notes and sometimes a lyric will jump out or a song title will start but I always start with with chords and then move on to like melody and lyrics after that but I normally have a song title in mind before I've even picked up a guitar. Are you working on new music? Yes, yes and yes, I've written so many songs in quarantine um, which has kind of been a positive for me really out of this whole situation. I've written a song every day so I'm on my way to releasing my debut album for sure so for me it's kind of exciting to to see it all laid out like that and have you know lots of tracks to choose from so definitely working on new music and you'll be definitely hearing more of it soon. And the last question is what is your where is your dream place to perform? Oh it's so difficult because it you know, Glastonbury for me 
is my all-time favourite festival and I was lucky enough to play last year um, and it was amazing but I think now I've played Glastonbury I'm like I really want to play Coachella so I would love to just get me on a plane fly me out business class see you at Coachella that would be my my next dream I think just to play more in the States would be amazing because um, I'm a bit obsessed with all things US so yeah thank you so much for having me and hope you enjoyed the set and huge thanks to Minga as well cheers Thank you.